Hello everyone! In a previous video, I showed you how to update product prices using Google Sheets. Today, I'm excited to share an updated version of the script with some great new features. Not only can you update prices, but you can now manage stock status and quantities as well. Best of all, you no longer need to manually import products into Google Sheets. The script does it automatically. Let's dive right in. First, go to the link in the description and copy the script. If you are a WP Cookie Plus user, use the Plus version. Otherwise, use the free version. They both work the same, and there's no difference between them. Open a Google Sheet, and from the Extensions menu, click on Apps Script. Delete the existing code and paste the code you copied. Next, we need to get the API keys. Head to your WordPress dashboard and click on WooCommerce settings. Go to the Advanced tab and select REST API. Click Add Key and give it a description. Set the permissions to read and write. Generate the API keys. Next, copy these keys inside the script. Then put the site URL into the script. Remember, the URL should have a trailing slash. Save the script and click on the Deploy button. Click the gear icon, choose Web App, write a description, and click Deploy. Since this is the first time we are running this script, you'll need to authorize access to your Google account. Click Authorize Access and follow the steps. Go back to Google Sheets and refresh the sheet to load the script. you'll see a new WordPress menu added. From the WordPress menu, click on Fetch Products. The time for this process depends on the number of products on your site. If you have more than 500 products, you may encounter Google Sheets timeout. Just click on the Dismiss button and Fetch Products again to resume the process. When the fetching process is completed, you will see a success message. Let's clean up this table and add a sort option. This is our store. Let's change the price of the first three products. When I am changing the price, the update checkbox will be checked. If you are uh, um, updating the price by formula, you should manually check the update columns for those products. When you are done, from the WordPress menu, click on the Send Updated Prices. As you can see, the price has been updated on our site. If you are using a cash plugin, you should clear the cash after each price update. Next, let's set this item out of stock. Put zero in the in stock column and click on the send updated prices. Next, change the stock quantity for these products. 
I will change in stock to one and put five in the stock columns. Next, let's update prices and stock quantity for variable products. This shirt is a variable product. I will put the regular price for the red and blue shirts to nine and put the sale prices to five. Now let's set the stock quantity for each shirt. I will put the stock quantity of the red shirt to three and the blue shirt to six. Now we have a working system to manage our store directly from Google Sheets. If this video was helpful for you, please like it. If you want me to create more videos, please subscribe and share this video to spread the word. Thank you for watching.